హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు అశోక్ ఐటీ ఐఎమ్ శేఖర్ జావా ట్రైనరేట్ అశోక్ ఐటీ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ జావా సెవెంటీన్ ఫీచర్స్ అండ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ ఫీచర్ దట్ ఈస్ యాడెడ్ ఇన్ జావా సెవెంటీన్ దట్ ఈస్ సీల్డ్ క్లాసెస్ అండ్ సీల్డ్ ఇంటర్ఫేసెస్ సో దర్ ఈస్ అ న్యూ కీవర్డ్ ఇంట్రడ్యూస్ ఇన్ జావా సెవెంటీన్ అండ్ దట్ ఈస్ సీల్డ్ కీవర్డ్ generally if you look at creating a child class suppose you have a parent class for the parent class you can create any class as a child class before java 17 we don't have any controlled way of creating the child classes for a parent class suppose you have an interface and you can create any class as an implementation class for that interface you don't require any permission from that interface to create an implementation class or you don't require any permission from that class to create a child class of it but from java 17 a new feature introduced called sealed classes and sealed interfaces with which you can create the child classes and also implementation classes for an interface in a controlled way let's see how we can able to use this sealed classes and sealed interfaces to create the child classes let's move on to the screen here we have created one package in dot ashok it and we want to create one new java class here and consider i am creating a new java class like parent class and this class contains some variables and methods but just we are creating a parent class and now we also want to create a child class which extends this parent class so without any permission from the parent class we can able to create the child class i can add child class extends parent class extends parent class so now you can see the child class is created without any error by extending from parent class without any permission from the parent class but from java 17 we got a new feature called creating a sealed class suppose if i declare this class as a sealed class then its child classes can be created in a controlled way means parent class will give permission that who can be the child class and who cannot be the child class consider i am just creating this class as a sealed class by using that is a keyword in java that is called sealed let's create it as a sealed now whenever you write a sealed class you must also include permits keyword to specify who can be the child classes of it for example i am writing permits child class 1 or consider i am writing child class now i also i want to create one more child class this is a child class i am creating for the parent class this is a parent class for which this is a child class but whenever you are creating a child class from a parent class if it is a sealed class then while creating the child class you must declare it as either sealed class or non sealed class or could be the final class let's see how the differentiation can be done between sealed child class non sealed child class and final child class consider now i am getting a compilation error because i must declare it as either sealed or non sealed or final consider i am writing final now the error is removed and we don't have any errors now consider this parent class is saying that child class can be the child class of my parent class but i would like to create one more child class from this parent class new we are creating a java class and the java class is child class 2 this child class 2 extends parent class it extends parent class and suppose when you write a second child class in this way you are going to get the compilation problem over here because in the parent class permissions permits list child class 2 is not available only child class is available so we cannot create a child class 2 by extending the parent class now consider if i include the child class 2 includes child class 2 in the permits list child class 2 now i should go to child class 2 
and I should declare this child class 2 as either sealed or non-sealed otherwise could be final. So I would like to make it as final right now. Now we don't have any compilation problem. Now there is a parent class for which there are two child classes are permitted child class and child class 2. So we are creating child class 2. Now the child class can be either sealed or non-sealed or can be final. See suppose you want to create suppose if you want to make the child class as sealed then use sealed keyword for child class sealed keyword for the child class now the point is why should i for example even the child class of child class also i would like to create in a controlled way a child class can be further extended to create one more child class of it but that child class should be created in a controlled way and if that is the case then you should mark it as a sealed child class and you can use a permits keyword to specify who can be the child class of the child class consider our example suppose we have the parent class here which has child class and child class 2 now i would like to go to child class and i would like to make it as sealed i would like to make it as a sealed now whenever i mark this child class as a sealed class you know i must also include permits keyword to specify who can be the child class of this child class so i can say permits child class 3 child class 3 now right now i have no child class 3 we are going to create it let's create a new class which is child class 3 now you know child class 3 extends child class 1 child class 3 extends child class 1 now whenever you are creating child class of a sealed class you must include either sealed keyword or non-sealed keyword or it could be final keyword. Now, I am getting an error because I did not declare it as sealed or non-sealed or final. Suppose if you do not want to allow any further child classes for this child class, now you can declare it as a final because in Java, you know, if a class is declared as final, then we cannot able to create a child class for that final class. Now suppose I want to mark it as final. Now you have understood how parent class can be created and sealed child class can be created. Now suppose if you mark the child class as a non-sealed child class. So suppose if you want to if you want to make the child class as a non-sealed child class if this is the case then use non-sealed keyword there is a keyword called non-sealed keyword for the child class if you mark it as a non-sealed child class now the child classes for that child class can be created in uncontrolled way it is not a sealed child class so then there is no restriction so any class can extend that child class for creating a subclass of it. Consider now we have child class 2 and instead of final we want to remove this final and we want to add non-sealed keyword non-sealed child class 2 extends parent class. Now there is no permission required from child class 2. Now I want to create another child class of child class 2 without its permission. It's possible it is uncontrolled way of creating the child classes. Consider I am creating a new class called child class 4. I am creating child class 4. Now you can see child class 4 extends child class 2. Child class 2. I do not have any error. And I am not declaring this child class 4 as a sealed or non sealed or final because this child class 2 is a non sealed child class. So 
each child classes can be created in uncontrolled way just like normal before java 7 how we did that so this is two things we have learned here one is making the child class as a sealed and another one is what we are making the child class as non sealed now if further you do not want to allow any child classes for a child class right suppose if you don't want to if you don't want to create further child classes for a child class for a child class then then use final keyword use final keyword consider the example now this is parent class and consider we are also writing child class child class 2 and also child class 5 child class 5 now we want to create a new java class with the name child class 5 child class 5 inside the class you can create variables you can create methods you can define the constructors you can define the other methods like to string hash code whatever the methods and variables that you want you can able to create them but now child class 5 now child class 5 extends parent class but i do not want to create any further child classes for child class 5 so if that is a the case then i should declare it as final so now finally whenever you are creating a child class for a sealed class it could be sealed or it could be non sealed or it could be final this is about sealed classes similar to sealed classes we can also create sealed interfaces which can permit who can be the implementation classes for this interface who can implement this interface and who cannot implement this interface so consider creating an interface as a sealed interface and sealed interface can permit who can be the implementation classes for this interface and who cannot implement this interface so consider like classes now we'll start creating interfaces so for some time we want to remove all these classes right now now let's create a new interface here we are choosing interface here and we want to create an interface here consider i am creating an interface called vehicle now this this vehicle i would like to make it a sealed interface so there is a keyword called sealed there is a keyword called sealed now interface interface name is vehicle permits permits consider car and bike let's create two classes car and bike which implements vehicle interface now this is a sealed interface so this interface will allow only the car and bike can implement this vehicle interface and other classes in the application cannot implement this vehicle interface it is the controlled way of creating the implementation classes for an interface and that is given with the java 17 with a keyword called sealed we have sealed classes and sealed interfaces too so let's start creating a class called car now this class implements implements vehicle now currently in my interface i don't have any abstract methods let's include some abstract methods in this interface currently it is an empty interface let's add two abstract methods abstract void start then abstract void stop now let's go to car and we should override the two methods we are going to override two methods one is start and second one is stop but when you are creating the child class for this interface again this class must be declared as a seal or must be declared as non sealed or it must be declared as final consider i am just going to create it as right now non sealed now here i am overriding two methods one is a start method which is an abstract method and other one is a stop method 
at override annotation we can use and we are saying that public void start and system dot out dot print ln car started similar to that we will override the next method stop and here we write an sop statement car stopped now this is my implementation class for vehicle interface but another implementation class also i want to create and that is called bike now let's start creating one more implementation class called bike i am just creating new java class which is bike it implements vehicle now we want to override two methods over here whenever you are creating an implementation class for a sealed interface or a sealed parent class you must declare the child class as non sealed or sealed or final consider i want to make it as final i want to make it as final now i should override two methods over here override start method with sop statement bike started bike is started now we also want to override the other method stop and it should override bike is stopped okay this is final class now consider this is car now i would like to make this car as a sealed class i am just going to write it is a sealed but when you declare any class as a sealed which means its child classes can be created in controlled way and permission must be provided to the child classes with permits keyword consider here i am creating permits sports car so there is a class which i want to create as a child class for this that is called sports car now sports car can be the child class for car so now let's create a new java class called sports car now this sports car extends car and now here it's a child class i would like to make it as final because further i do not want to extend this sports car now here we should override two methods if you want we can override two methods and let's override the start method and what sop statement is sports car started sports car is started let us override the other method that is sports car is stopped now this is the way of creating the sealed classes and sealed interfaces the advantage is there is a controlled way of creating the child classes and there is a controlled way of creating the implementation classes for an interface so this is a new feature included in java 17 and the keywords provided are sealed non sealed and permits that is about the feature called sealed classes and sealed interfaces of java 17 thank you